IGN Live at E3 2018 is presented by Marvel Studios Ant-Man and the Wasp in theaters July 6. Welcome back, everybody. IGN Live at E3 2018. I'm Damon Hatfield here with our Nintendo editor, Philip Mewson. And we are joined once again by Daniel from Nintendo. Thank you. To take a look at Super Mario Party. Yes. It was a really nice surprise during uh, the Nintendo briefing yesterday. No, it was great to see that one be announced. That people were really excited. Yeah. Um, it's going back to its original form, back to the original days of where you actually move as individual characters, so it's not a vehicle together. So now you can all move separately, which I'm, I'm sure people are really excited to see going back to that old format. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be going that. And there's a lot of little nuanced changes, taking advantage of the Joy-Con controller as well to play in different ways. You got some footage showing on there. That's actually yeah, showing how you get allies. Yeah, we got a couple of uh, Nintendo representatives playing this live for us right now. Yes. Cool. Uh, so what game board is this one right here? Oh, geez. This is, uh, no, you caught me on that one. I can't really oh, no. the game board on top of my head. <laughs> but, it, uh, but basically, it's a, it's a game board that uh, essentially uses, there's thwomps in it. It has a little bit more of a kind of Indiana Jones type feel to it, if you want to say. Because there actually is a part, there's a boulder right there. You can see that path up top there. Right. If you hit a certain button, a boulder will come down and knock all the players out. If you, okay. If the, the event square. Um, so the boards are all different, um, different things to play around with, uh, different kind of obstacles to go in your way. So you're, you're saying that it's more like the earlier Mario parties where the boards are more open as opposed to more linear like the... Yes, the, the boards are more ones. open. You can see right here multiple right, pathways cool. to go, how you want to move around within there as you're collecting those coins to get the stars. Um, and you get the stars by finding Toadette. Toadette is going to be there. She's holding them. Every time you get uh, 10 coins when you meet her, you're able to do that right there. So right here, you can kind of use this map to even kind of scan through the board to see wh what each spot represents, what you can do, where you should go, the event spaces. So a little bit more quality of life features built in as well, so you kind of know what's happening, where you should be going. We kind of already jumped into a game a little bit further along. So that's why they've already kind of moved along the board a bit. Hmm. And Mario here is about to get to Toadette. But sadly, when he, oh, he, when he gets there, <laughs> he's going to have no coins. He's not going to have coins. So you purchase the star from Toadette. Uh, so yeah, again, those give all these four, the four different characters playing the game, and the dice blocks are a bit different too now. Uh, usually, people have those dice blocks one to six. Right. Every character now has a special dice block, where they can, uh, they, it actually can, it's a risk reward dice block. So right here, Bowser's holding this dice block right there that's green. So now he either gets one <laughs> or tens, basically. On this <laughs> dice block. So he failed horribly, but he got into an ally space, which is good. So now he can try to get an ally. So when you get to the mini games, which we'll get to in a moment. And having an ally on your team means that when you go into those games, this ally will kind of run around by the computer and help you out. Okay. At the same time, though, you also get that character's dice block. So this dice block has a 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, and a 10. So depending on what you kind of roll into. And then also when you have an ally, when you're rolling on the board, that, per that ally will give you a little bit of an extra bonus. Very cool. So we're seeing um, Peach. Peach right now. Yeah. Um, Using her dice, and now yeah. every character has their own dice. So they have the standard one to six die, and then each character has its own special custom dice dice block. Right. Okay. That they're able to use, and they're all different. Like Donkey Kong's is like either get like zeros or tens, or something that could be like you get coins or you move. Can you choose to use their custom die whenever you want? Yep. On your turn, you can choose okay. the regular dice block, or you gotcha. can use the custom dice block. Or if you have an ally, you can use the allies' okay. uh, custom dice block. So when you land on an ally. Um, place on the board, mm -hmm. does the ally stay with you for the entirety of the game? In game. Oh, okay. and, and once you get that ally, that ally is no longer available to oh. other people awesome. ah, for that cool. round. Is Which it all really well balanced, or are some dice objectively better than others? It's objective, yeah. It's okay. objective, like what you think is better for what you want, higher okay. numbers, lower numbers, the bonuses that come into it as well. Uh, here's the gridiron. Cool. Basically, they're trying right here now. They're holding the Joy-Con controller and trying to survive by simply dodging <laughs> these guys coming at them. They can also shove each other, if they wanted to, into the other spots. <laughs> Nice. Um, everyone kind of weighs the same, so Bowser's not going to do anything different. But yeah, they're all kind of running around together, trying to survive. They can take three hits, and as they get further along, they get more of these guys coming on the screen to take them out. Very cool. So about um, how many minigames are in the game right now? Uh, we're talking about around, around 80. Around, around 80, 80 minigames we'll be getting in Any, there. any uh, classics returning to this one? Oh, yeah, we're, we're, yeah we're, we're going through a bunch of them now. Some will, they'll have reminiscence of the, of the original okay. ones, but nothing specific to what's going to be in there. Um, so, and some of the newer ones take a lot of advantage of. The newer ones are mo I'm more excited for personally, just because one of them actually used the Joy Con controller, like holding like a frying pan. Right. Yes. And you actually have to kind of keep flipping this cube of meat, and you have to cook all sides evenly. But if the meat, if you click it too hard, the meat will fall up to start over. Ah, I see. And all four players are trying to keep up with that whole thing of doing that. Um, there's even a one that's like a tricycle, where you have to kind of 
do this kind of motion to actually keep the tricycles moving along to go through that as well. Cool. Yeah. So a very nice mix of motion controls and also physical controls yes. as well. You play yes. many different ways. And I think, so this, this game is being designed to sort of take advantage of the Switch's portability. Yes, right? yeah. as well. Yes, you can definitely play on the go or at home, whatever works best for you, whatever yeah. you think works. Which so I, I we think actually we're have pull some, up some footage uh, yes. Yes. of that, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, there is another mode yeah. called Toad's Rec Room. Yeah. We actually, we kind of showed a little bit where you could actually take two Switches and yeah. play uh, mini, uh, mini league baseball. This right here is actually called Banana Split from Toad's Rec Room, yeah. where it's taking advantage of the local wireless between two Switches. And essentially, you have to now match the bananas up properly as you see them. Ah, I see, cool. So right there, you're kind of <laughs> using the touch screen. It's actually able to sense how they're lined up. So if they're doing correctly, it works fine. But let's say I do a mistake, it'll recognize quickly. I was getting confused here. <laughs> so can, can you speak to how the switches are actually communicating with each other? Because this is very interesting. It's using local wireless. It's using its own wireless between the two and communicating based on, the, based on how it's all functioning that way. Awesome. So it's able to read each other and actually understand what's happening right there. OK. That guy um, looks familiar. And um, were they? How many switches can communicate with each other at once? It's two. It's, it's two. It's using two for this one typically. Okay. Yeah, it's used two for this one as you're playing through. Very cool. And this was us tuning this yesterday, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so how did you find it worked, Philip? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a seamless, seamless uh, experience. Honestly, like, I didn't have any issues with it whatsoever. This is the banana mini game, right? Banana split. Banana, banana split. split, yes, yes. Um, and it's obviously got a Donkey Kong theme to it. Yes. Uh, yeah, which is very cool. Um, and you had the record, if I remember correctly. You actually got the fastest time. Yeah, out of all of us. 30 seconds. Yeah. It was, you have the world record. Uh, <laughs> the current world record for yeah. Super Mario Party. Yes, I am. Um, but uh, so we saw two others in the direct. There's a yes. baseball one. Yeah. And what was the other one? The other one's called Shell Shock Deluxe. Lux, where essentially um, you get to play with for each four person that controls a tank using right. the Joy-Con controller, but you can set how you want the board to match up. Cool. So you can make it where just even lines up and then basically have a huge map to play with the connecting, or you can make just a small pathway to make it you have to go through something and kind of, and you're trying to basically destroy each other using cannonballs. And they bounce off the walls in all different directions and play off that as well. Very cool. Um, so far we've talked about there's Banana Split, uh, Mini League Baseball, and Shell Shock Deluxe are the three we've talked about so far. Okay. Uh, one thing that I've been dying to ask you. Um, so we saw that, you know, obviously two switches are communicating with each other. Uh, will only one copy of Super Mario Party be required to play? Like, is game sharing enabled, or do you need two copies? You will have to stay tuned for more information oh, on that no. one. I'm not going to too much detail <laughs> okay. on that one. It's a good question. Good question. No, we're not going to. Still so got a little bit of time until we get to that launch date of October 5th, so there'll still be some more time to talk about more of the details of how that works, what will be available, all the different mini games, the modes, all that. Cool. Well, what's your favorite mini game so far that you've played that you can speak about? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Frying Pan one is honestly one of my favorite. The Frying Pan one. Um, is really fun. There's also one where actually uh, you're working together, kind of doing a claw game where you're trying to make faces. It could be like Mario's face, and you're trying to pick up each piece and line it up blind. We have to work together with your teammate because you could control one axis, the other one controls the other axis. Oh, okay. So there's kind of fun games, those two on twos or 1v3s, they're all fun in their own right. Um, and the characters are fun too. I love seeing that Goomba's a playable character in the game. Mm -hmm. Uh, like especially you do the tricycle one, you kind of like it's seem fun seeing a guy ride a tricycle with no hands. Nice, but that's what he does. Um, about how many characters will be available at launch? Oh, uh, jeez. Uh, so far, like are all the classic ones returning that we all know and love? There's a lot of classic ones there. Um, from the allies, you can see so far. I'm trying to remember the top of my head. Like probably like there's 12 to 16 roughly around there so far oh, wow. shown. Um, but could we stay tuned for more? I don't know. We're just gonna be final version. So. So this game is called Snack Attack. Yes. Obviously, try to catch the popcorn. Popcorn, but, avoid. but not the giant. Burning meteors. Yeah, lava balls, whatever they are. <laughs> yeah. Bowser's doing really well. Yeah. I like how the popcorn just stays in your cup. <laughs> so with Nintendo Online launching in September, mm -hmm. and obviously Mar Super Mario Party is launching in October, uh, can we expect to see Super Mario Party taking advantage of any online features? Can't say anything right now. Ah. Let's just stay tuned. No, it's a good question. No. Okay. We'll definitely have more information about what kind of, if, there, if and what their kind of online function will be, so just stay tuned for that. Okay. Yeah, for sure. We'll hopefully have more stuff to show on that one for fun. Definitely. Is there like a, a progression or unlock system in the game where you uh, like unlocking new characters or worlds or anything? Or So far, all we're showing now, I know I feel okay. bad. Kind of like I need to get right now. All we're really showing is just this, this initial map playing some of the mini games that pop up as you go through that right now. We're not going too much like what other modes there are, how they'll actually be progressed through the system and all that. Besides right. this mode, uh, this main mode where you actually now have that original feel of moving individually, but also Toad's Rec Room, which we showed a little bit earlier with that right. banana split and those other modes using those two switches to kind of communicate with each other in different ways as well. But there are new items as well, too, um, in the game. We're at the item shop right now, which is why I'm bringing that up. 
But yeah, there's new items in the game you can check out. Um, like some of them are, I'm trying something like, like that, you have an ally phone, or a, buddy, a phone where you can call an ally buddy phone. Um, some different items like that will kind of change the game clip in different ways as well of how people play. So classic ones like a dash mushroom to move faster. Yeah. And then even the warp box, you can warp to different locations on the board. Sadly, no one got the star because no one had enough coins to get it. So now Toadette is still hanging out there uh -huh. until someone comes all the way back around to get that one from him. So is it safe to say that this Mario Party, like many others before it, will actually be the end of many friendships to come? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Like I mean, <laughs> yes. It's just like any other board game you play. It's always like, especially as you get toward the end, where people start going, getting. We start if you start, start how to take each other out. Who's going to get that last star? Who's going to get to that point? Who's got the coins? In the mini games, you're right. The mini games where people start getting really just oh, yeah. fancy, trying to get all that money, so the coins so they can buy the stars. It's endless. Oh yeah, we get pretty crazy with it in the IGN office. So cannot wait for this to launch in, on October fifth. October fifth. October fifth. Yes. So not too far away. Just have about one minute left, Philip. Any any last questions? That um, I can try to answer. Yeah. Let's see, I, <laughs> Make it a good one. Oh man! All right. Um, Got a whole list of them. Yeah, you went through forty five my good ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Is there anything you'd like to say last minute about Mario Party, oh, Super geez. Mario Party? Uh, <laughs> you threw it back at me. That's smart. Uh, no, I mean just the fact. It just again, all the mini games, just all that fun that's yeah. playing with it. I mean, even just playing along with my friends, with my folks at Nintendo, just getting ready for this. It's been a lot of fun. Just seeing, just feeling that that action, and really that original feel of moving individually. Mm -hmm. That is just a huge like. That's a big factor that I love. I enjoyed playing with the vehicles, but I just I like the whole idea of like really making that competitive feel, moving separately, yeah. doing what you want, how do you want to go around. Awesome. I just, I just want to say that Super Mario Party is a really cool name. Yeah, yes. it seems like Wait, perfect. Right, right, right back to that original yeah. feel. Yeah. Let's let's refresh the whole thing, go back to yeah. what it was originally. Perfect. Daniel, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, stay tuned. More to come here on the iGen stage at E3 2018. After this.